Hey, what's going on guys? This is Xtech Ride and today I'm going to teach you how to expand your bootcamp partition on Mac OS. So basically I recently I wanted to I installed bootcamp with Windows 8 and I wanted to I only put 30 gigabytes and I decided I wanted to put more gigabytes, about 60 or something for games. But then I came up with this dilemma because many people don't know how to do it, so I went online and basically the people want to charge you like 20 bucks for a software. But I figured out a very easy way to do it. So first I'm going to tell you how, what I did before actually um, messing with my partitions. I bought this um, Toshiba 750 gigabyte backup um, hard drive, external hard drive. You don't have to buy it, but I bought it. I didn't buy it specifically for this, but I recommend you to get one because backing up is really good. It has saved my life a couple of times and it basically killed me before I had it. So I definitely recommend you to buy it. Do backups consistently. So the first step is basically connect your backup and you totally don't have to do this, I mean it's just in case. But what I like to do is connect my external hard drive and you know go ahead and go on your time machine and click on backup now. Once that is done, it's an optional step, once that is done you want to go ahead and you want to go ahead and go to Disk Utility. So we go to Disk Utility and here's where you're going to expand your actual hard disk. So we go to the main hard disk, Partition. So what you see here is basically um, my already expanded, if I may say that, uh, hard drive. So basically, you're not going to get this. You're going to get the top part to say Macintosh HD and the bottom part is going to say Bootcamp, which said it before. But now I got this. But basically, you're going to decrease the Macintosh HD side. And I'm not going to actually do it, but I'm going to exactly tell you how I did it. I decreased my Macintosh HD um, partition. And... Uh, once I decrease that by uh, as much as you want, you can make it as much as you want, except those, that little part. I recommend you not to do it so much as to actually mess with the data you already have. I know, actually, yeah, you can decrease it as much as you want, because it doesn't really let you after that purple part. But decrease it, decrease it as much as you want. And once you're done with that, we can actually go to... Windows part, so you're going to want to boot bootcamp on your Windows partition. Hey, what's up, guys? Now we're in the Windows part of my partition or bootcamp. Couldn't get the camera set up, and um, for some reason, the program kept crashing. But, anyways, now that we're here, we have to go to a mini tool partition wizard home edition you can download this off the internet pretty easily you just google it you can download it off whatever CNET free free trial but yeah so you're gonna come here and you're gonna see unallocated space somewhere up here and here as you can see, this is your bootcamp partition and this is your main partition. So basically, you want to go to bootcamp and you go to move. Ah, you go to extend. Uh, I can't click it because I didn't really want to mess with my partitions just in case. I didn't want everything to get messed up if I mess up. But you go to here, you go to extend, and it's c and you all you have to do is. It's pretty self-explanatory, you just have to extend it to the unallocated space. Um, 
you can also resize it but that's difficult so you could just go to extend and the part that you set as unallocated on the on the on the tool on the disk utility in Mac basically that part that was basically expelled if I may say so by Mac you're going to grab it with Windows which is pretty cool so yeah that's what I found useful um, that's what I think I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it helps you if it didn't ask me in the in the comments below I'm more than willing to make another video about it or to make a video on how to well, on how to make a bootcamp partition if you don't know how to to use windows on your mac so rate comment subscribe and thanks for watching